Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josie. Today I'll be talking about the airsoft shell ejecting um, shotgun. And let me tell you one very exciting news. Yes, you can use XPA with this gun. And in my uh, on my Mac Hobby channels, I already have a lot of videos of showing you XPA uh, tests and such. But today I want to talk about the most important thing is my. Uh, final conclusion on how to use HPA the best way with this gun okay so um, a lot of people were asking can you use HPA because CO2 is very expensive with this gun uh, when you charge up the shells with a 12 gram CO2 to 12 gram CO2 you only get like 20 good shots and then you get a few very weak shots and but the thing is you don't want to waste air and you don't want those few uh, very weak shots so what do you do right well usually you waste them <laughs> so you're like you charge the shells up and then all of a sudden you shoot and hey how come it's so weak well too bad you you are on the 24th shot but you you have like 28 charges right so there's a lot of low pressure uh, charging uh, for the end of those two CO2 and it's very annoying so let me get our charger out this is our charger and basically right here it stores the 2 12 gram CO2 instead of that just take this shit out you don't need it because this thing is not useful anymore okay what you need right here is this thing I show you guys already on the other video showing the uh, APM50 but this is it's the same idea this is the best the best method okay look this is a ASA to quick disconnect fitting okay you can buy this from paintball store charger screw this on very easy okay. and by doing that okay you can now have your HPA tank okay HPA tank instead of screwing the tank directly on here like I used to do in the past that is not good why because as you see in my other video when I twist the tank on okay the pin valve cannot punch uh, on the pin the pin right here uh, fully so you need to open the valve and turn to let the pressure go and the, the tank can finally go in but by doing that you lost a bit of air too and that's not good so right now we have a CP brand uh, on off ASA right here that you can buy from paintball store but this one I put a fitting right here um, actually I was it, it's like that when I bought it and this is a quick disconnect female fitting so you can buy this from air gun store and it'll work okay, so basically you clip it on like that now it's like a fill station you see if I, you can even turn it like that and make it easier to fill so you can still go like that and work with it okay so what's so cool about this setup the thing is you can push like you can turn this knob to turn the tank on or shut the tank right away and end all the air going in here okay let me take a shell and show you guys so here I have a shell right here okay what you usually do is you basically push it all the way down and then you secure this by using that knob here okay that's what you do and when you're here you open the valve when air is on and let the air goes in right so here we have our tank turn it all the way on and now it's pushing air fully in full pressure going this way so now all you need to do is turn it on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten shut the valve see aired it up and after I'm done if you don't want to do any more filling screw this all the way up you're not going to lose any air see just a little puff of air from here that's all okay and now your uh, shell it's charged up already you can you can disconnect this too you see there's no air hold there no air holding there okay so now you just need to unscrew this thing you can leave the tank on if you like okay so unscrew this thing and now you can shoot so um, this is very useful let me pick up a ball just let you see my hand is 
There, okay. There you go. So, all you need to do now is shoot. And right now, I'll put this right here so you can see it. Okay. This is a tank I just shot with the APM-50. You see it went through both sides of the tank. Anyway, so, uh, not the tank, sorry, the, the, the can. So I'll shoot into this face right now, okay? Put it on my trap. I'll do one shot. What I loaded in the uh, shell is a 3.9 gram rubber ball, a riot control round, okay? So let me load this into the breech. Give it a shot. Very loud, very powerful. Okay, done. So you can see it worked full power. And look what happened. Ooh. And this is not the full power of the CAM A70 shotgun yet. This is just like, you know, it's not really the full power. I'll show you what's the full power right now, okay? So to get the full power, you do not use a HPA tank, normal pressure, or the even the 1200 uh, PSI pressure. What I use for the full power so far to get a 23 joules reading with the riot round is this special tank regulated to 100, sorry, 1400 PSI. You see the gold regulator and is pre preset to the high um, high pressure. Okay, so what you want to do is put this on just like that. Let me demonstrate again. Okay. It's very simple. Just screw that on. Don't worry, nothing will explode. Okay, I tried it myself. I was kind of nervous yesterday trying it out, but still fine. Okay, not that bad. Okay. Now you want to put. This adapter on. Okay, good. Let me just twist my tank this way. Okay, now it looks like a fire hose. Uh, where's my shell, please? Shell! Oh, there we go. Same shell we used. Okay. Now I want to uh, put the shell in first. Lock it in place. Okay, good. So I lock the shell in place, shut the valve, remember shut the valve first, and then turn on the tank. Okay, 1400 PSI going into the shell. Now what I want to do is hold it and give it a fill. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and shut. Okay. The gas, a little puff of air, no big deal. Okay, let me put that down, it's too heavy to hold. When I do this, I usually do it on the ground, and so you don't need to hold onto that thing. It just stand on the ground, and you can fill your thing. Okay, 1,400 um, uh, PSI, okay? Hold it, rubber ball. 3.9 gram rubber ball. I'll put it here again. Okay. Where's my crazy can? Okay, let's shoot uh, the can. Okay, new can. Okay, new can. New can there. Okay, let's go. This is a um, pretty crazy power. 23 joules. Holy shit. Okay. Rubber balls. Guys, rubber balls. It went in here and out the other side. Okay. This is the power of the CAM A70 shotgun. Went through here and out the other side. Using a 3.9 gram rubber ball. Imagine that. It's rubber only. <laughs> So, I don't know what to say. It went through both sides right away like that. <laughs> so, um, in case you guys don't know, okay, the 33 or to, uh, sorry, the 23 to 25 joules mark, 
that is the kind of power you get. And um, it's the power similar to the law enforcement and like military use riot gun FN303P. <laughs> really, really close to that. Um, also close to my Tiberius T8.1, also tuned to that kind of power. So it's very, very good power uh, with rubber balls. And if, if you like really imagine that, okay, shot, shot on a person, it's not going to be very fun. Um, so remember guys, do not use this kind of power on human beings so when you're playing with other people okay tune down the power by using a, a um, less high pressure tank so in my own test okay you can shoot about uh, paintball indoor indoor paintball game power with normal co2 pressure so that's like 800 to 850 psi with that kind of pressure it's okay for indoor pain, paintball game if you raise it up to 1000 psi that is good for outdoor paintball game okay so with a three gram paintball you shoot about like 280 ish fps that's very good already if you raise the uh pressure up to, to uh, 1200 or even 1400 that we just tried that kind of power is not for shooting at your friends okay remember you don't want accidents to happen so and also as you see with co2 we have a very limited power with this gun but now with uh, HPA, you can adjust the power higher or lower by using HPA, and that is very fun. So, um, yeah, I think I will end the video right here. So, you guys, if you'd like to see more in-depth video or, like, technical video about how to use HPA and my other lab tests, uh, power testing, and so on with this DMA70, go to my Mac Hobbies, Mac Hobbies channel. And uh, you will see a lot of video there rolling up shortly, and th that those video will show you my other testing of other like how many how many how many uh, pressure uh, and so on, what kind of power you get, etc. And we go we are going to do a lot of tests with this gun, and also the APM50. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye bye.